Charles. Are you fine? Charles. Charles. I'm coming there. Can you hear me? Charles. Hey. I, 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 hey, I. Mm. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chukuku no ye menoi, man no propose, God no dispose, so who can change it? the minds of the gods? For the gods are wise, 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 the gods have you seen uh, these people today? Sorry, sir, I don't know. Maybe you should check them at home. I haven't, this place has been locked for a while. I haven't seen them. Oh, for real? Yes, sir. It's okay, thank you. Okay. No matter what the will of God must be done. No matter what if a chicken, a the wisdom is far higher than the wisdom of men. If you do I say you must say, because I wise. I be you no no, I be you no no. That the gods are wise. They oversee everything. Yeah. If you do I say you must say, because I wise. I be you no no, I be you no no, that the gods are wise, they oversee everything, yeah, no matter what the will of God must be done, no matter what, if a chukuku no ye menoi, Man no proposal, God no disposal, so who can change it? The minds of the gods. Be. We tried our best. We did all we could. Just take heart, okay? Be strong. I know you, you, you've been a strong person, you know? Just take heart. You lost your mom. Thank 
a message to Mary. Oh, don't tell her where I am. Make a message to Mary. Oh, don't tell her where I am. You can just tell her that I'm to sing again. And tell her that I'm sent you for good. You can tell she better find someone new. Oh, don't tell her where I am. Oh, don't tell her where I am. Take a message to Mary. But don't tell her where I am. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? I am leaving for Kaaba first thing tomorrow morning. And when were you going to tell me about it? Never. Not like I care, but what are you going to do in Kaaba? I know you don't care, do I guess it? Charles! My beautiful name. You know I can make this night really uncomfortable and painful for the both of us, right? I know. So what are you going to do in Calabar? Going for three weeks, cuz. Three solid weeks, cuz. So you are just going to pack your things and leave without telling me, right? Take a message to Mary, but don't tell her where I am. You can just tell her I'm to see my view, but don't tell her I'm going to you can tell she better find someone new But don't tell her where I am Until my dying day Charles! Mary Mary Charles! Oh Lord The sad is cold Ay, 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 What are you doing here? I told you to stop coming here. Do you want to get yourself killed? Please, can I see Prince Charles? Young lady, this palace is a danger zone for you. You shouldn't be seen around here. I know, but I just want to see him, even if it's for the last time. That's all. See, you're not listening to me. See, eh? the woman you met here the last time you came, that is his wife. She eats people raw. So you should you should stop coming here. It's okay. Just tell him that the reason I've been calling is because of my mother. What? She's dead. Jesus. I'm sorry about your mom. I'm sorry. But you see, Prince Charles traveled. It's not his fault. The last time you tried to reach him, his wife sees this phone and that's why you've not been able to reach him. And the palace have not been calm since then. But I will deliver your message once he returns. I'm sorry about your loss. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Thank you. Just go, go please. Go. You mean she told you all this? Yes, my prince. Pamela. Pamela. All right, thank you, Nduko. You can leave. Uh, my prince, um, I feel we should not tell Prince Charles until he returns. He might be distracted, considering the fact that if the news had gotten to him, the woman's life would have been saved. Nduko, I never knew you were this smart. Thanks for your contribution. Okay? You can leave.
What have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done? Have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done? I mean no harm. And now I cry. My heart is broken. Where did I go wrong? What did I do? So tell me why you hate me so. So much. I came in peace with good intention. I mean no harm. So why the hate? I came in peace with good intention. I mean. Mama, no verse. You just want to make everywhere clear so that we will feel run our thing. Mama, as I tell you now, eh, the walls of Jericho don't drop. Everywhere. Bam. The mission clear. Are you sure? Not be so. It's okay, it's okay. See, remember the agreement. Should anything go south, I'll come for you. You hear? Mama, you no get issue. Okay, no wala. It complete, Abby. Everything is intact. Okay, do all now. See you guys later. All yeah. right, Mama. Hey, I, 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 hey, I. Mm, no matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what, if a chukuku. Now you have seen what I always told you. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah, she can cook for Africa. Their soup is mm, something else. <laughs> You can say that again. My prince. Bro, hold on, let me attend to the way. He's acting like someone, the wife is in labor. I will call you back. All right. My prince, I, I heard there was a fire outbreak last night at the village. So you now go about listening to village gossip? No, my prince. The villagers, they gossip. I heard the name of the booker. The owner, her name is uh, Binyenum. That's my brother's friend. I, I fear so, my prince. Nduke, get ready. You are taking me into the village. Okay, my prince. Yeah, look. But the how? By who? Good afternoon, officer. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon, good afternoon. I've been all over the place just looking for you. Me? Um, do not be afraid, Binyalom. Meet my boss, Detective Karis. Well, he has told me so much about your chicken pepper soup, and I've been salivating. I'm wondering if I could come around today and have a taste of it. Thank you, sir. I would have really love to make that happen, but unfortunately, it won't be possible. Why? You don't open on Sundays? Oh, I get it. No, it's not that. My booker was completely burnt down some days ago. What? <laughs> Fire accident? That should be from your gas cylinder. No, sir. Some people did it. My goodness! Who could have done that to you? I have no idea, sir. Binyalum, it's okay. I'm sorry about the mishap. Oh, I, I'll have to go now. Hey, don't worry. One of these days, we're going to pay you a visit. I can assure you. All right? Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Who could have done that to her? Listen, we will find out very soon. That's why she's our friend. You shouldn't be here. All I wanted was to see the one who made me believe he was my friend. But you refused to see me. I guess you're here to judge or threaten me again. I am here to apologize on behalf of my brother. My brother wasn't aware of what we were going through at that time. I've heard everything you've said. But it doesn't change what I've been through. It's my cross. And I've decided to carry it. Yes, I know, but I heard your book was burnt down. I'm only here to give you a lending hand. Please accept my offer. I lost my means of livelihood. I watched my mother sweat, burn down to ashes, barely a while after her death. I heard the villagers gossip, everyone pointing accusing fingers to the palace. They say the one who hates that everyone else is alive, 
took food from my mouth to keep me away from life. Um, see, the villagers might not be totally right about this accusation. But even if they are, it doesn't matter again. Please. I want you to accept this little offer from me for the sake of my brother. Please. No. I will not accept this money for your brother's sake. May I know why? Go back to your fine palace, please. Vieram. I will make you enjoy any kind of thing. Now my way, now my way. You're a bad guy. You know me, I trust me. Now wait a day. Love me again. I take on that matter. Hey, hey, hold me. That one like me. You know if you. Then they the fun fine boys. Who must see anybody won't do? What they believe me? I will be out guys. Man, now wait. Vieram, day has full time now. Yes, you want day before. Eh? She should be fine here. Oh, yeah, nah. We should go back to the book and I'm going to see. <laughs> see, 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 guys. See, me wanna reason this matter. And they feel like this attack they too sword in an untimely way. Like, me wanna reason I'm like, no jail at all. I'm like, why do you always talk like this now? She see, I'm... Come, I'm gonna tell you, so I don't understand this guy. I don't talk to him, but this guy, he's like, person who will sell us. If you know say you repeat it, you get like that. Why you can't follow us? Go burn the booker. What do they worry you? I'm a jackal like me. They crazy. Guys, watch your back. Oh, watch your back. See, guys, eh? Me not bring that voice down outside the day. Yeah, outside the day. Ah, guy, nothing. Nothing they happen. Anybody with proof face go call you with the with the. Now, now what to you? But bro, sweet, bro, wait. If let's say this guy don't the fall for that ban, you check him now. She has not been girlfriend yet. I don't understand this. Because you think you do face these days, you do doing face and you that girl. No matter what the will of God, so must be done. No matter what if a chuku kuna yemenoi. What happened? What took you so long? Look at the time. Why the delay? Your lunch took unnecessarily long. And besides, why are you so engrossed with roadside meals? I'm sorry, boss. Actually, I love going back to the street. What's so juicy about the street that you needed to go back to? Boss, sometimes the street speaks. You see, boss, I think I found out the people that bought down Binyalum's book. What? Are you serious? Yes, boss. And the suspects are kids, right? Not really. They are some village touts. They are youths, actually. Now listen to me. I want them on your radar immediately. Okay, boss. I think we will need to do that together. We will. And they will all pay for their crime, for depriving me of that chicken pepper soup. That's it, boss. Nice one. Nice one. Leave us. What is it? Pamela, has it ever occurred to you that you're a very wicked person? Oh. I know. And, and thank you for the compliment. Pamela, aren't you tired of this, your stinking, smelling character? Aren't you tired? Listen. If you have something to say, just say it already. Out with it. Why are you beating around the bush? 
What's the problem? Pamela, you've graduated from hurting and stalking people in this palace. You now go about burning down the means of livelihood of poor masses in the community. Pamela, aren't you ashamed of yourself? This is how you're going to win these people. When your husband eventually becomes the king of this kingdom, is this how you're going to win them? Come on, Pamela. No. First off, what are you babbling about? Secondly, I have no idea what you're trying to say, so be more explicit. And talking about shame, of course, you know I have none. Cheers. Join me. They are nice. <laughs> All right. Let's wait till he comes back. Gosh. Are you leaving? These are actually, they taste really nice. What have I done, have I done to deserve this humiliation? What have I done? What have I done? I'm in no harm. You like what you see? <laughs> Such a pity, darling. Because royalty ain't for pigs, nor for low lives like yourself. <sighs> I hear the villagers akin me to your misfortune. <laughs> oh. Well, I am not here to tell you how foolish and mistaken you all are. I'm actually here to sympathize with you. Oh, so sad. Really sad. Tell me, darling. How may I help you? Because you so badly need the help. You do, darling. You do. You do. Mm. Well, I saw you the other day through my window at the palace, crying your eyes out profusely. Oh, that broke my heart. It did, trust me. But let that be your last. Because you're too insignificant to constitute a thought in my head. And that's why I haven't really taken into consideration what to do to a non-existent person like you. Oh. <coughs> Such tears of penitence. Oh, poor you. <sighs> well, I can see your arrogance and sense of destitution has beclouded your sense of judgment and blindfolded you from the help you should seek. Mm. Mm. Oh, you know what? That's okay. Everyone is entitled. I'll just leave you now to wallow and die in your state of nothingness. Nonsense, idiot. What have I done what have I to done? deserve this humiliation? What have I done? What have I done? I'm in no harm. And now I cry. My heart is broken. How dare you imagine on us like that? Get out of this place! Mr. What are you doing here? Your Majesty, you asked me to come back in 20 minutes time. Get out! Get out of this place! Ah. Come back. Car keys. Give them to me. Hurry up! Leave this place. Get out! You see this driving thing you have with Charles? It's over because you're no longer driving me. You can wait whenever Charles come, you start to drive him. Is that clear? Get out! Get out!
Can you do me? Let me see us right now. I just want him on us. And you relieve him of this duty. Don't you think this time I get to him and he'll spill? I don't care what he does. When Charles comes, Charles was the one that put him to this in the first place. So when he comes, he can as well, I don't know, start driving Charles or something. I don't care at this point. Do you ever take caution? If he tries anything, he will die. Not it. Yes, bro. As I told you, I went there. I even offered to help her. But she declined. No, I am not complaining. I think you should come back and go there and fix things yourself. Some days ago, No, 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 no. I am not lying to you. I think she just wanted to see you. She has missed you. Yes. All right. All right. Why are you back on foot? Uh, um, my Where prince. is my brother's wife? Where is Pamela? My prince, she... Tell me Pamela is fine. My pr she's fine. So what happened? Talk to me, Abube. What happened? My prince, she relieved me of duty today. What happened? Did you have argument with her? Not at all. Did she disgrace you? No, my prince. So what happened? My prince, um... I was running fever, so she asked me to go home and rest. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, my prince. All right. Thank you, my prince. I still wonder why you're covering up for that slot. After what she did. Just calm down. I'm a wise man, you should know that. You should have dropped it while it was hot. That wisdom is foolishness. You better go ahead and tell Prince Zubi. Chine, no, no, I won't do it. No, now, if I tell Prince Zubi about it, he's going to tell Prince Charles his brother. And that will get him distracted. He will lose focus. I know him. Probably he might come back earlier than he planned. I don't want to be the reason why he will leave his job. Doesn't that make sense to you? Mm, there's a little sense in it too. Mm. But you will not swallow this just like others. Yes, you will not. You must tell Prince Zubi. Anyway, eat. Let's see how it goes, okay? But the only reason I will not tell the husband or anyone else about this is if that lady, if she starts behaving well. If not... What's the meaning of that? 
See, let me tell you, Ibube. If you do not go and tell Prince Zubi, I will go and do it for you. Mm -hmm. You're not serious, are you? I will tell you. No, don't, don't tell me you're serious. I bet let's eat before they start calling I'm me. I'm so now. serious. So. Let's eat before the king will start calling me. Hey, Diamond. What? Get into the car and be quiet about it. Shoo? Who jump be getting into the car and be quiet about it? Who you be? Shoo? Who jump be getting into the car and still enter car? I hate to repeat myself twice. Get into the car. Okay, I repeat three times. Get into the car! Eh? Ha. Get into the car. So you carry wisdom. Get into the car. Calm down now. Get Who into you? the car. Come on, my girlfriend. I think get into the car now. People think you carry wisdom now, okay? Shoo? Now where will you go? Gloria, look at you. <laughs> You've changed so much. What have you been eating in school? My dear, I have been starving, you know. <laughs> Forget this look and this body. You know now, school environment is not easy. I am just managing. <laughs> My dear, I heard what happened to Mama. My mother told me this afternoon. Hi. This is so painful. Mama had to go. And honestly, it's, it's not been easy since she left. Hey. Then the booker. What is going on? Eh? I think someone you do not know is trying to get at you. Actually, it's not someone I don't know. It's someone I know. Well, it's a long story, one I'm not ready to tell. I see, enough of me and my sat too. How are you? How, how is school? How is everything? Oh, school is fine, dear Lung. I still can't believe why you came back to this village. You just had two years. Two years to graduate. And for those two years, I wasn't able to pay my fees. Clara, it was embarrassing. You know, sometimes you just have to come home and wait until you're ready to try again. Oh. My dear, I know it's not easy. Now Mama is gone. Your only reason for coming back to this village. What do you mean? What I mean is, it's high time you left this village for good. Yellow. I know the grass is not always greener on the other side, but sometimes it is. You just have to leave this village. I don't know. Um, you, what are you doing here? Why did you come back? Hmm, my dear, because of eight months strike. Ah. Oh. The public system in this country is horrible, my dear. It's very bad. They are still here. This is very sad, honestly. <sighs> and Gloria, what, what do I offer you? I, I have mango. That's... <sighs> Don't worry. Don't bother yourself. I came to see you. Oh, it's so mango that you're here and don't worry. It's okay. I am fine. <laughs> I have missed you. Just oh look my at God. you. Thank God for the nation strike. Oh. If not, people like you will not even remember to come to the village again. Don't even say that, my dear. I can't forget my village. It's just that it's tiring coming back home. Like, what am I coming here to do? To farm? Hmm. Hell no. <laughs> well, people like me, I don't believe in that school of thoughts. This is where we are and this is where we stay. Right here in the village. I can say that. <laughs> you are now a certified primary school teacher. Wait. Who told you? You've been to Yelong's place. <laughs> yes, I was with her a while ago. Like I hadn't seen her since I came back last night. 
Wow. Yeah, talking about Yellow, there's this rumor flying about since she got entwined with Prince Charles. You know, that things are no longer going well with her, um, about her mother, you know, her mother's book got burnt. So many crazy things. And I also heard that the cause of all this is Princess Pamela. Wait, let me understand this. First of all, who is Princess Pamela? Ha! You don't know Princess Pamela. Princess Pamela is the wife of Prince Charles, the very esteemed daughter of King Ojadike. Are you serious? Yes. King Ojadike. King Ojadike. I think I've heard that name before. The politician king. He is very powerful and influential in governments. Exactly. That wicked and demonic daughter of his is whom Yelum is up against. Hmm. My sister, I'm telling you. Hi! Was she not informed? Eh? Pamela is a very wicked soul. Very wicked. There are not too many things she cannot do. Now I am beginning to understand the gossip about her mother. Oh my god. Hmm. The best thing for Yelum to do is to go very far away from this place. As if I knew. I told her. Hmm. Nee, where are you going to? It's my nice dear, to again. I am just coming back from Yelum's place. I am oh, going okay. home. Okay, I am going to the market. Let me just rush off. Oh? We'll I'll, see later we'll in the day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. I'll miss you. Oh, we'll see you later, yeah? Bye. <laughs> Come here. Come here and hurry up. I hear Welcome my... Home, That's not important. I was told my husband would arrive today. Is he back? I don't think the prince is coming back today. The last thing I would ever do in my life is ask you what you're thinking. Why on earth would I ever want to share from the lameness of your thoughts? Which is retarded at that. Well, he's not back yet. You can keep whatever you're thinking to yourself. Take this. Take it. Take it to my room. And I mean now. Hey! As for what you saw the other day at the office, you saw nothing. And I have a condition for keeping it to myself. Stick that to my room. <laughs> Roaches everywhere. Yes, Magnus. What if these guys messing around with us? Honestly, I don't subscribe to this VIP treatment and approach you are applying on him. <sighs> Magnus. This is how it works. Sometimes people say to catch a monkey, you act like a monkey. But I totally disagree with them. The best way to catch a monkey is giving the monkey what it most cherishes. Oh, so by that you mean we are giving him banana treatment? <laughs> Funnily enough, banana isn't what the monkey cherishes. What, if I may ask? 
You go find out. I'll tell you a few things about teenagers. They love room. Plenty of it to be free with. They hate being checked. They detest being garrisoned. Diamond, I told him I could have arrested him and then detained him. But then, what? even after playing the clip of him and his friends at the cafeteria, we still let him have the space of deciding his fate. <sighs> you are a detective. Sure. Hmm. I told you. He will come. Um, I greet you now, Kelebis. So what have you come with? Well, I said, Ma, I can't tell you, the Coco. Ma, I can't tell you, just waiting the ground. Nothing but make I tell you, the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. Yes. Nothing but the truth. Who contracted you to do it? <sighs> Princess. Pamela. What? Yes. Now she send us. Bielon. Ah! You remember the last time I was here? I told you it would be a great idea if you leave this village and go somewhere else. Yes, I think so too. I remember saying something like that. My dear, this village has taken so much from you for you to continue to be here. I totally agree with both of you. I do. So, what is keeping you? Yellum, I think you should do something about this. You know, one does not just wake up and move to another place. I have no structure to sustain me there. No family. No money, no. You are just making unnecessary excuses. All these excuses have nothing to do with the subject you are talking about. It's not. It's not it that. It is. What are you saying? Fine, you win. I'll think about it very well. And also try to raise some money. Don't worry. I will assist you the little way I can. Me too. I will always support you. Are you serious? Yes. What are friends for? Thank you so much. You're welcome, You're welcome my darling. You're welcome. Mm. Stop thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, you insist on having me before you keep what you saw the other day at the office of secret? Well, sometimes we all deserve a pound of flesh. Hmm. You know that? Your That's highness. fine. What? I was only trying to get ready for you. I know. Good. But I think we should take it easy. You and I know that you didn't come here for slow, so let's just get this over with. You didn't come here for easy, step did you? Step by step. Mm, I know. <clears throat> Jesus! <laughs> Why 
you fly like a mouse. <laughs> oh, you said my own words, man. What do you mean, stupid girl? Come on, come down there. <sighs> man. <laughs> Greetings, my prince. You have no single regard for the king to waltz in here with this riffraff, throwing accusations at me. Detective. Your Majesty. I am totally disappointed in you. You mean you brought this riffraff that looks like an opportunist? just to accuse my daughter-in-law of this nonsense? Huh? I show me no disrespect, Your Majesty. I'm only here to ask Princess Pamela a few questions. Here with me, Your Majesty, is one of the youths that burnt down the booker that only served as the source of livelihood to an innocent orphan. And here he has confided in us that Princess Pamela here sent and paid him to do it. That I think anyone who listens to what he said can sense the truth and the fact that... What truth and what dumb fact is your numb score telling you? Your Majesty, the only reason I haven't called my father to talk to him about this miscreants is because of the esteemed regards I have for you. So please, would you ask these things to leave this palace this minute? Detective. Your Majesty. Get out of my palace. I will only listen to you if you come here with a verifiable evidence. I'm not this gibberish you came here with. Now, if you don't have such, I don't want to see you in my palace again. Now, get out. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but like I rightly stated, here with me is... Uh... All right, Your Majesty. Shut up! No matter what the will of God, must be done. No matter what, if a chukukum, a man, no propose, no 
What are you doing here? Uh, How may I help you? Uh, you don't treat your visitor like this. At least first you have to usher him in. Uncle, he is not my visitor. And he's not welcome in his house. Um, Daniel, I'm sorry I wasn't aware of all the things you went through while I was away. And that is what I've come to say. You see? You know, Zubi told me that he has already let you know that I traveled to Calabar for a three weeks course. And I'm sorry for all that happened to you. I'm sorry for your mother's death. Uh, we buried her two days later. Though she refused to mourn her because uh, her church for this mourning the dead. Uncle, 